The Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to the Locked On Titans podcast. We got a bonus breaking news edition. The Tennessee Titans have cut offensive tackle Jamarco Jones, who was set to be the starter at right tackle. Wow, what a stunning move from the Titans. I guess not that stunning at the end of the day when when we go over what's taken place with Jamarco Jones, but just not what you expected to hear from a guy who's been taking first team snaps at right tackle. But either way, we're going to dive into the Jamarco Jones thing. This is going to be a 10-minute bonus episode. I'm going to explain this for you guys. I have some personal obligations on Thursday evening. I've already recorded today's episode. I rant about Jamarco Jones at the end of tonight's episode for about eight minutes straight saying that the Titans should cut him. And that was recorded before the move happened. But now that the move did happen, I had to jump on here and talk about it with you guys. So Jamarco Jones is cut. Why? Why did that happen? Well, number one, on Tuesday, he got in a fight with Jeffrey Simmons where they were pushing and shoving, hitting each other's face masks. Both of them sent off the field and ejected from practice. Jamarco Jones didn't return. Then you come back on Thursday, the very next practice, Jamarco Jones lays a dirty, illegal hit on Chance Campbell, Aziz Alshire goes nuts, and Mike Rabel ejects Jamarco Jones again. So, if you guys are keeping count, Jamarco Jones has gotten in three fights in his Tennessee Titans career and played zero games. So, I I have to say, it, it when you guys watch tonight's episode that comes out, which is the normal episode for the day. You're going to hear my rant on Jamarco Jones. I'm not going to go back and cut it. That was before the cut happened. And I was saying the Titans need to get rid of this dude. He's not taking care of his teammates. And when Jamarco Jones is getting thrown out of practice, that doesn't allow the Titans starting offensive line to get any cohesion. It doesn't allow the Titans offensive line to gain any chemistry. They can't play together because this dude's always off on the side because he can't handle his emotions. So. Thank God the Titans made this move. Thank God they cut bait with this crybaby. Jamarco Jones is a crybaby. No way around it. And I said on tonight's regular episode, which will come out later, I, I made a plea to anyone who's ever played sports before. If you have played sports, you know the guy that cries anytime he gets beat. You know the guy that when he starts playing bad, he starts to say that he's injured. You know the guy that cries when he doesn't get his way. The coach isn't being fair. I won that. You guys know. What type of guy we are talking about here if you've played sports. And that's exactly what Jamarco Jones is. A crybaby. And we saw it. Last year, got in a fight with Taylor Lewan. You guys know Taylor Lewan. I'm sure Lewan was just giving him some crap, talking some crap to him, having some fun. And Jamarco, shut up, Taylor. Shut up. And then fought him. And then Jeffrey Simmons is whooping him in practice. And rather than trying to get better and do better, he's going to get in a dust-up with him that hurts the whole team? And then what? And then what? He gets a a dirty hit on your own teammate? I mean, I said it the other day, but Mike Vrabel don't play that. Mike Vrabel don't play that fighting in practice, hurting your own teammates, not respecting and taking care of your brothers. That ain't the way, man. That ain't the way. I am so happy to see Jamarco Jones get cut off this team. I'm so happy, and he deserves it. Again, For anybody who's just joining us, got in a fight with Taylor Lewan last year, got hurt, never played in a game. Got in a fight a couple of days ago with Jeffrey Simmons, got kicked out of practice. A dirty hit, an illegal hit, a blindside hit on his own teammate in practice today, gets kicked out of practice again, and immediately after practice, Mike Rabel says, get the heck off my football team. And it's funny, again, this is a bonus episode for you guys because I've already recorded tonight's show. I got a family obligation I got to deal with later tonight. I, I can't re-record the entire show, so I'm still putting it out. You're going to hear my rant on Jamarco Jones before the cut even happened where I was begging Mike Vrabel to get rid of this guy. He is not a Tennessee Titan. He's not. So good riddance. See you, Jamarco Jones. So excited this dude's off the team. I wanted Jamarco Jones cut during the offseason because I knew I knew he is not a Tennessee Titan. Cut this guy. 
The Titans kept them around, and now it ruined a week of training camp for him to build cohesion with the offensive line because this dude can't handle his emotions. You guys all know the type of player that we're dealing with if you played sports. You all know it. So, who's next man up? How much cap did the Titans save with cutting Jamarco Jones? I'm going to get into all of that. Remember, this is a 10-minute emergency breaking episode. My regular 30-minute podcast will be out later on tonight. I'm going to push it back a little bit so that it comes out around 7 or 8 for you guys. But wanted to jump in here and at least have a little bit of a, a, a take here on the Jamarco Jones situation. But we are going to dive into who could play right tackle now and the cap space situation in just a moment. Before we get into it, do want to let you guys know that today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. August is here, and you know what that means. The official start of Fantasy Football Drafting Month. Get championship ready for your home league by trying out best ball on Underdog Fantasy. All you do is one live snake draft. There's no waivers. There's no trades. Underdog is going to set your best lineup every week. Try it out with Underdog's Best Ball Mania Tournament. It's the largest fantasy football contest of all time, and it's back and even bigger with $15 million. Million dollars of total prizes up for grabs, including an absurd $3 million going to the winner. Last year, the winner drafted their team in July. So don't wait around. Visit underdogfantasy.com or find them in the app store. Sign up with promo code Locked On to get your first deposit doubled up to $100. That's Underdog Fantasy, promo code Locked On. Titans fans, an emergency episode talking about the breaking news. The Tennessee Titans cut Jamarco Jones. Again, got in a fight with Taylor Lewan last year, got hurt, never played a game. Got in a fight with Jeffrey Simmons on Tuesday, got kicked out of practice. Had the illegal dirty hit on linebacker Chance Campbell on Thursday's practice. Got ejected again and was cut afterwards. What does this mean for the Titans' right tackle position going forward? What does it mean for their cap space? I'm going to dive into all of that in the next few minutes, but I want to remind you guys again. I have some personal obligations that I have to deal with on Thursday night. The show is going to come out later. And I'm going to have a rant on Jamarco Jones that I recorded before I knew he was cut, where I was begging them to cut Jamarco Jones. So I know that's going to sound a little funky, but I don't have time to re-record my entire episode for you guys. I got to get out of here and help my family. So with that being said, just wanted to clear the air so you guys weren't confused as to why... Tonight's episode, I spend five minutes at the end of the show ranting about Jamarco Jones when he was cut. That's why it's weird, so I wanted to have this for you guys, but quickly, who can be some right tackle options? Number one, go with Chris Hubbard. They signed Chris Hubbard as a veteran free agent instead of George Fant. This is why they should have got George Fant, but they signed Chris Hubbard. Hubbard's the guy who's jumped in when Jamarco Jones has been ejected. Chris Hubbard is a longtime veteran. He's played 2,967 career snaps at right tackle. Let that guy play right tackle. I don't care what they think of Jamarco Jones. I'd rather have that guy in. Also, you could look at the rookies. John Ajuku, which is a rookie out of Boise State who was undrafted, but Mike Vrabel raved about him earlier in the offseason. And you have Jalen Duncan, the sixth-round pick. Now, Jalen Duncan, Jalen Duncan is raw. He's got all the talent in the world, but he needs some hard coaching, in my opinion. So I don't think that Jalen Duncan's going to be ready. For me, it's obvious that it needs to be Chris Hubbard, and that's who's been going in. Also, I see, I can't say your name in here, but I see you asking for the videos. The Titans do not release videos of practice. If they do, they're zoomed in videos where you can't see anything. The Titans are the most restrictive football. Yeah. Bridge, Lori, I see what you're saying. I'm not going to hate on any other football or any other Titans content, especially my guy Zach, but I disagree 100%, and I could lay it out to you in, in ways that I've already laid it out on this podcast when I compared them to. They are not equally as bad. That is absolutely silly uh, to say that when you look at what they've done. Uh, Chris Hubbard hasn't been a starter since 2019, so take that into account, but he's still better than Jamarco Jones, so it's going to be Chris Hubbard, And then behind him, you're going to have the rookies, John Ajuku and uh, Jalen Duncan. As for the cap space, the Titans saved $926,000 by releasing Jamarco Jones. He's going to leave about a million and change on in dead cap, but the Titans are going to save nearly a million dollars in salary cap space by releasing Jamarco Jones now. 
A move that I think should have happened a lot earlier in the offseason. But either way, Jamarco Jones is off this team. No longer a Tennessee Titan. Good riddance. Not the kind of player we want on this team anyways. So glad to hear it. But again, tonight's episode is going to come out a little later than normal. It was recorded before the Jamarco Jones cut happened. I'm recapping the defense's performance at practice. Recapping the latest update on Peter Skaronsky. And then I'll have a rant about Jamarco Jones at the end that... I was right! They cut him! Let's go! That's going to do it for this bonus episode of the Locked on Titans podcast, though. I'm going to be back with you guys on Friday night, I think, to recap Friday's practice. If I have time, going to talk to the talk to the manager, the old lady. That's going to do it for me today, folks. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Rowland, and this was Locked on Titans.